Shalom, Yeshua. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechab Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the Ophelakim that's preached the word in all truth and sincerity. Along with the Israelite foreigner brothers that like the heathens. But the lion and foul side was back to the nation of Israel. Which nation of Israel are you so called Negroes? Latinos and Native Americans through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So this is your brother your call, a mouth for the lesson, and um, today's lesson will be entitled Satan is trying to sift brothers out of the faith. I was gonna go on some precepts and uh low woman, you brothers and you sisters out there, be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know, because the closer and closer we get to our Lord Yahweh Shai, second coming, you know, the more and more harder it's going to get in the faith. You know, it's going to, you know, we're going to be presented with more challenges, you know, with more tests, you know. But as long as we got Yahweh Shimon Shai, then, you know, we're going to pass all those challenges and tests. And Lord willing, ultimately, you know, Lord willing to be a part of the elect, you know. So, you know, I just want to go into a lesson in regards to that. And um, I'm going to start off with the book of Luke, chapter 22 and verse 31. You know, and this when the Lord Yahushua was talking to Apostle Peter. You know, it says, And the Lord Yahushua says, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. That's right, man, because we understand that, you know, Peter, Apostle Peter, you know, he was the head of the church. You know, um, you know when Yahushua went back to the spiritual realm to the heavenly father Yahweh. You know, uh, Peter, you know, he was the head of the church, you know. So, if by Apostle Peter being the head and Satan, the spiritual demon Satan trying to sift him out the truth, then how much more for us, you know, because Satan, the word Satan just means adversary, you know, when you go into it. And um, just for edification, uh, Satanus, which means adversary, one who opposes another in purpose or act, the name given to. You know, it says the prince of evil spirits, the uh, inverterate adversary of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Right, so, you know, Satan just means adversary, man. You know, and we define our word sift. Um, it's from the Greek word. Strong's G, 4617, Seniazo. Seniazo. Yep. It says figuratively by inward agitation to try one's faith to the verge of overthrow, right, man? You know, and we understand that Satan can can try to sift out the truth in many forms, you know, such as, you know, sowing discord from brethren, you know, um, you know, trying to bring up evil accusations about a brother or to try to get another brother's uh, favor, you know, uh, by wicked uh, Satan come. Trying to sift you out the truth by way of wicked thoughts, you know, your job, you know, you might get a new job, you know, making more money, you know, or you might get a new car, you know, a car that you always wanted, you know, um, a woman, you know, and distractions, man, you know, so, you know, Satan is trying to really get us out the faith, man, because, you know, of course, we won't have all this resistance because we're going against uh, the powers that be. You know, in society, which are the least of Esau, man, the so-called white man, you know, and all these people that dwell in the world, they have, they all have evil spirits on them that's not in the truth. So we're dealing with, you know, uh, against principalities, man, as it says in First Peter 5 and 8, um, who well, it says that in Matthew 15, which I'm going to get, um, First Peter 5 and 8, it says, be sober, be vigilant, you know, and we have to be sober-minded, man, you know, we have to be uh, spiritually sober, because there's nothing wrong with drinking, you know, as long as it's in moderation, it's not, you know, affecting you, uh, your personal life, so be sober spiritually by way of being single-minded in the truth, you know, keeping your eyes single, you know, making this truth your first priority, man, and we got to be vigilant, you know, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, Walk of about seeking whom he may devour, right? And this is twofold. The scripture can apply to two meanings. You know, talking about spiritual demon Satan and also, you know, Satan, the so-called white man as well. Because he's a uh, the so-called white man, the Edomites, they are the physical counterpart 
of the spiritual demons Satan on earth, you know, Satan's children, so you can understand, as Elder Kazak often says, you know, so, you know, we have to, you know, keep this in mind, man, you know, because a, a little leaven leaven a whole lump, man, so Satan can start very s small and trying to cast doubt in you to try to get you out the truth, man, you know, try to, Satan can try to make you question the truth, you know, like, why am I in this truth, but, hey, we got to rebuke them thoughts, man, and to always remember on the um the latter end of it, man, if we endure. You know, how much how much how how blessed we're gonna get, man. You know, because you know, we get all these type of thoughts, man, being this truth. Uh Matthew fifteen, nineteen, for out of the heart, which heart from the evil lie, which means your mind, proceed evil thoughts. We get we get evil thoughts because we dwell in the sinful flesh, man, the sinful body. So we're subject to sin, you know. So we get these evil thoughts constantly all the time. But we do the spirit and power how about Shimon Shah, we must rebuke them. We can't let them fester and grow. You know? It says murders, adulteries, fornications, deaths, false witness, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man. But to eat with unwashed hands defile not a man. Yeah, because the scribe, the wicked scribes and Pharisees they were saying if you don't wash your hands, then you're then you you're defiled. But it's what comes out. Uh, because whatever you think in your mind internally and you start to manifest those actions, manifest those thoughts in your actions, then that's when you become defiled. By getting, you know, what, go, what goes in the man doesn't defile. As it says, as he said, Matthew 15, 18, but those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart and they defile the man. Yeah, so whatever you're thinking, you know, and you start to manifest those wicked thoughts in your actions, then that's when you become defiled. But when you get them thoughts, you're not you're not defiled because you're not acting upon them thoughts. You know, if brothers can understand. You know, so so yeah, man. So even Yahweh Shah acknowledged this, man. You know, and even Satan trying to test our Lord Yahweh Shah, man. You know. Um, Matthew four and verse one says, Then was Yahweh Shah led up by the of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he was, when he had fasted 40 days, 40 nights, he was afterward and hunger, you know. So, you know, this one, Lord Yahweh Shai was fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, you know. It says, and when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be son of Yahweh, command that these stones be made bread. So, here he goes, the spiritual demon Satan trying to cast in that doubt, you know. And Satan was even trying to test our Lord Yahweh Shai, man. You know, and this and this also proves that Satan can come at your low points as well. You know, uh, you, you may feel like you know you you uh, you've been forsaken by the Lord. You know, but you know we have to always you know we can't give in to those uh, wicked thoughts by Satan. You know, just because we can think like we're forsaken, but we're not forsaken, man. It's just the Lord testing us of our integrity, our character, see, to see what what we will do. In those uh, difficult situations that he tests us in, you know, uh, verse four says, "But he answered and said, It is written, my man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Most High.'" Yeah, so you know, this word is a good precept to liken this word to bread, to food, food for thought. They got that saying in the world, "Food for thought." You know, so we only live by bread alone, the actual food that we eat. But we live by the words of the Most High, you know. So then the devil take him up into the holy city and set up him on a pinnacle of the temple. And said after him, If thou be son of the Most High, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, which charge means command. You know, it says, And in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at that any time thou shalt dash thy foot against a stone. Yahweh shall say unto him, It is written again. Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. So see what the Lord was doing. You know, the Lord was uh, battling Satan with the scriptures. And that's what we have to do. You know, whenever, you know, we feel like, you know, Satan is trying to, uh, you know, tempt us by way of these wicked thoughts and stuff. We always got to force from us, pray to the Lord to get them demons off. You know, um, you know, because they're not nothing but demons trying to get us out the truth. And then we read the scriptures for comfort. You know, to 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 let us know that we're not the only ones that go, that's going through this, man. You know, is uh, Yahweh Shai went through it. 
you know, the apostles, you know, uh, brothers around the world. I see the truth. We all go through this. This is a common thing, you know. It says, um, verse 9 says, and, um, verse 8 it says, again, the devil take him up into an exceeding high mountain and show him all the kings of the world and the glory of them. And say unto him, all these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. And that's proof, and that proves right there that in order to be successful in society and the soul to call kingdom in America, you got, you got to worship Satan. You got to be a Satan worshiper, man. You got to bow down to Satan, man. It says, um, verse 9, and say unto him, all these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then Yahweh Shai said unto him, uh, then said Yahweh Shai unto him, Get thee hence, man. Get the hell out of here. Get out of here, Satan, for it is written. And I prove you can rebuke Satan. You know, just don't curse Satan because Satan is really doing his job. So we're, we're able to rebuke him. For it is written, Thou shalt worship Yahweh thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Right? So only you're supposed to worship Yahweh by Shemoshai, man. You know, you're not supposed to worship Satan, bow down to any other gods before the Lord because the Lord. Can, can, is a jealous guy. He can take us out for that. Uh, then the devil leave him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Man, so, so right, man. So, you know, you see in this account that the spirits of Satan was trying to cast in doubt on our Lord Yahweh Shai. You know, and Yahweh Shai battled Satan with the scriptures, and that's what we have to do. You know, because Yahweh Shai, he's the author and finisher of our faith, man, and he's our greatest example on how we're supposed to be. In the faith, you know, he left a, you know, he left his footsteps on how we're supposed to, you know, um, be in the truth. Uh, he says, Hebrews 12 and 2, it says, Look unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith, man. So, our Lord Yahweh Shai, he's the author and finisher of our faith. And let's look at those words author and finisher. Author is from the Greek word Strong's G 747, Archegas. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, when you go down, it says, one that takes the lead in anything and thus affords an example, a predecessor and a matter pioneer. So, Yahweh Shai, he's a pioneer, man. You know, so he's the greatest example on how we're supposed to be, conduct ourselves in the ministry. And look that we're a finisher. Strong's G, 5051. Delayotes. Taste. Yeah. It says a perfecter, one who has in his own person raised faith to his perfection and so set before us the highest example of faith, man. So Yahweh Shai, he was our perfecter. He was our highest example of faith, man. You know, and, I, and I'm not saying we're going to be, uh, you know, we're not going to be perfect like our Lord Yahweh Shai was, but, you know, we're supposed to follow his footsteps. You know, he wasn't even easily... Yahweh Shai, he wasn't easily moved. He wasn't tossed to and fro. He was well rooted in the truth, you know, and he wasn't emotional, man. That's another thing, too, that, you know, me personally in the faith, you know, I'm battling, you know, not being emotional, you know, which we all, you know, my Apostle R said, you know, sometimes the prophets often got emotional, but hey, we got to rebuke those uh, wicked thoughts, man, and we got to be men in understanding, you know. But, hey, everybody, you know, we all got flaws within us, so that's why the Lord have us catch hell to purge out those flaws that we have uh, um, received by living in Babylon in America, man, you know. And the Lord gives, you know, if if you lack any wisdom, it says James 1 and 5, if anyone, any of you lack wisdom, let him ask to be a howard that give it to all men liberally. And upbraid of not, upbraid of me to rebuke of not. So the Lord is not going to rebuke you because you ask wisdom for wisdom and it shall be given him. Yeah, so, you know, if, you know, whenever we, we lacking, you know, um, any type of wisdom and, you know, how, how to deal with spirit of say, we just ask the Lord and he'll give it to us, man. But it says, but let him ask in faith. So everything has to be in faith. Nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave or the sea driven with the wind and tossed. So we don't want to be unstable. We don't want we don't want our faith to be unstable, because you know, uh, uh, 
a wave of the sea is is it, it goes to and fro. It's, it's not stable. So the Lord, He don't want us to be, uh, He don't want us to be unstable in the truth. He wants us to be locked in and solid and stable. You know. So um, when you go to Ephesians six and ten, find my brother and be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. So we gotta be strong in Yahweh by Shimon Shai, man. Because Satan's gonna come. You know, the more and more. This truth elevates the more and more and Satan's gonna elevate as well on the left hand side. You know, so you know, it's gonna be a lot of tests, like I was saying, you know, it's gonna be a lot of more people that's gonna try to offend, uh, offend you. But we always gotta apply the scriptures, man, and to know that hey, this is just a condition of the battle. You know, it's gonna be a lot of people that's gonna try to cause they you know, these people they hate us, man, you know. Um they hate us for the type of spirit that we come in. We come in in our ancient type men, prophet spirit. So, you know, and, and it's all of you how about a small size, not of our own will, you know. But, you know, people hate that, man. They hate a true masculine figure type man that's that's willing to um, establish the order of the Lord, man. They hate, These people of the world, they hate that because we live in a world of disorder, discourse, Discourse of fools is irksome, as the scriptures say. We live in a world full of that, you know? So we got to always keep that in mind. But this is Ephesians 6, 11. Put on a whole armor of Yahweh that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Yeah, so, you know, put on, on a whole armor, which is, you know, we're spiritual soldiers, you know, because this is a spiritual warfare more than it is carnal. Because everything starts in the mind. Sin starts in the mind. Uh, arguments and rebellion and, you know, uh, hatred, it all starts in the mind before you play it out in the physical. So everything is spiritual at the end of the day, you know, and when you find the word wiles, it's a uh, methodia, which means cunning arcs, deceit, craft, trickery. So tricks, you know, lies, deceit, you know, so we can't fall for these things, man. You know, when Satan puts spirits on people to try to aggravate us, try to get us to get carnal and put up a fight. But nah, we got to be spiritual. We can't let the ministry be blamed, you know, because Satan would do that as well. Trying to put spirits on individuals, you know, it could be your neighbors, your co-workers, you know, or just, you know, people in general. And when you're out in Babylon, when you're not pushing the truth, um, you know, when you're doing your affairs in Babylon, when you're not pushing the word, People, spirits hop on people to try to, you know, uh, aggravate you, man. You know? But we got to always remember to be spiritual and apply the scriptures. Uh, verse 12 says, We wrestle not against flesh and blood. So this is not a carnal battle. You know, but against principalities. Principalities are demons. Because that proves that these people, when they're going to they have a lot of demons on them, man. You know? Against powers, against the rulers, the darkness of this world, which are the elites of Esau, you know, because they 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 rule in darkness, you know, they they're the Illuminati, they're the bearers of the light, but on the left hand side, it's darkness. It says against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and the evil day is Jacob's trouble. And having done all to stand, so we want to be able to stand in the evil day, man. You know, and it all starts with Yahweh by Shimon Shai granting that has your protection upon us, man. So we're going to be uh, uh, conquered by these things, you know. And ultimately being a little one being part of the elect. Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the devil, man. And how we will be able to do that is by way of Yahweh by Shimon Shai, man. And the Lord blessing us to be circumspect and be on point, you know, out here in, in America, man. You know, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of the Most High, man. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. And washing there into with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. So that's right, man. So all we gotta do is just, you know, um put our trust in Yahweh by Shimon Shah, 
and do the works, man, because doing the works keeps the hedge of protection, man. You know, going out in the house of always, week in, week out, and doing our daily sit-downs and communing with the brotherhood, all that plays in factor, plays in part with having that hedge of protection out here, because without the Lord, we're through, you know, so, you know, so yeah, I just want to make a quick lesson on that, you know, Satan is trying to sift the brothers out the truth, and uh, Lord willing, I will edify, and uh, until next time, shalom.